Are we Rocky? No, no cheating. Are we Rocky? Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you're enjoying my Lucifer content, please remember to like the videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon that's next to it because that'll alert you when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because I put the link to the Lucifer uh, playlist every season where you can find all my reactions in one place and you can also find links to my other socials so you can drop me uh, some support over there if you like and I need you to leave your comments in the comment section guys by doing everything that I've just listed this lets you to know that you're enjoying my content therefore they'll push it up more so guys I'm back we're back so if you have been uh, keeping up with the community tab, I stated when I came off of holiday that I would have been catching up with all the weekly shows that I missed. And once those have been put out and caught up with, I would then go back to the regular regular schedule program and we are back with the regular regular schedule now. So last episode, um, I was right. I was right. I was like, this has to be Kane. Because for him to call himself the Cinnamon, Kane was the first man, if biblically, was the first man to commit a sin. And that was murdering his brother Abel. So it pinpointed that. It, and I was like, it's the lieutenant. There's no way you bring a new character, especially a lieutenant. And the last time we had a lieutenant was season one where... We see how Lucifer got to be Chloe's partner and we've never seen a lieutenant back again for you to bring him as a lieutenant yeah this gotta be King this, this, he it's just him or he had new King but I was more like yeah that's his King so I was right so the question of the day is how was he able to take Lucifer's um, devil face and give him back the wings and two, what is his purpose here? Like, is he an enemy of Lucifer? Is he just doing what Lucifer did? Like, he's taking a vacation too. Like, why are you here? And then, how could you do that to that the, the guy that you've been with from since he looked like you've been with him since he was a child? Like, what is your end goal? And I still know they're gonna try to they're gonna get him and Chloe together. I I I I know it. It's just how it is. Um. With this season so far, it's not. It, it hasn't started out to be my favorite season at all. Like I prefer season one and two over this. Maybe it's because it has more episodes, so you know how they, you know how they do it. They will drag on certain aspects or give you so much filler. It's like, ugh. but there have been one and two episodes. A couple. There have been a couple episodes so far that has just been wowing me. And the last. To, I think the last tr three episodes, the one where um we got Dr. Linda inside ep episodes with her husband, and of course coming up to the the uh, um cinnamon, those have been fire episodes. But we had some like blah episodes in between there as well. So I'm interested to see if we're gonna keep it up. Let's see what happens. So we're going on to episode uh. 11 of season 3 and it's called City of Angels Okay With that being said, let's jump into this reaction Is this a flashback of Lucifer? Why he look like Grease? Wings. Ah, uh, right, yes, we got a bit of a conversation stopper for you humans, isn't it? There we go. Is that better? Uh, huh. My man Did walk away. Care? Nice suit. Oh, well, thank you very much. My grandpa had one just like it. Grandfather? But this was a height of fashion last time I visited. Hmm, you here for business or pleasure? Oh, pleasure. 
So he didn't have his act together when he first came. Okay. Yeah. I, mi I missed the gong a minute ago. You can literally control time. I'm such atrocious timing. Oh, these poor creatures. They know not what they do. I beg to differ. Everyone here is well aware that they're doing me. Enough <laughs> foolishness. It's time for me to take you back to hell. Correction, allow you to take me back, as always. Uh -oh. Please. Everyone knows I'm the strongest of God's children. Ah, uh, not everybody. You've never fought me, have you? Care to give it a try? You know damn well the celestial beings aren't allowed to interact here on Earth. Now let's go. Wouldn't sit on that couch. Left a lot of divinity there. Oh wow. Enough. Mm -mm. <laughs> Forgot you about all a minute deal. Or you can deal with Father. That's what I thought. Uh oh. Ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, Lucifer. Nice dress. It's a robe. You wear it well. Aww. My necklace. Oh! <laughs> There's been a change of plans, Lucy. Uh, oh, not what I expected, <laughs> but all right, fine. Have fun. Just go in the other room. Um, no, or sweetie. Not. Sorry, are you going somewhere? I have an errand to run. Why are there holes in your dress? It's a robe. Oh, I apologize. Why are there holes in your dress? Look, I don't trust you to see yourself back to hell, okay? So I want you to stay here for a few hours, and then we'll go. Oh. I love that he didn't ask his brother what's going on. Yeah. You see, I respect the rule of human law, which is why I'm seeking your assistance in a matter of utmost importance. Okay, you met Chloe that early on. Okay. okay. Yeah, right. Okay. What was stolen? My necklace. The estimated value? And priceless. Hard to say, really. Where did the incident occur? In an alleyway south of Kahunana and Franklin. Kawanga? Kahunana and Franklin. This should help you with your quest. Can you draw? So a jack-o'-lantern stole your necklace? So you know this man. Oh, Jesus. Where can I find this Mr. Old Lantern? Sorry, excuse me. Just two seconds. I want to be home pretty late. You want me to pick up some dinner? No, that's OK. There's stuff for tacos in the fridge, and we'll make it a thing. That's so weird. A guy just came in reporting a mugging meal there. Lucifer. Uh, <laughs> if any angels came with a snooze button. Human shot me and stole my necklace. Wow. So much for not exposing humanity to our divinity. I need your help, Lucy. <coughs> oh, no do fun. you now? Well, you've always been crafty, smart. Craftier, smarter than you. Yes, and more handsome. Go on. Yeah. You spend more time with humanity. Okay, but you have to follow me. Detective Espinosa. Excuse me. How's it going? Yeah. yeah. Not at work. So I searched the area and I found this. Oh, it looks like a key fog. Could be, but even if it is, all signs point to a random attacker. A serial mugger on a spree. Hmm. Just like my guy resisted and ended up dead. That's the guy that got mugged? He's built like a tank. <laughs> and so is the guy that reported the robbery. A gun can be a pretty great equalizer. That's true. That is true. I don't think this was random, Dan. Okay, why don't I get a jump on it? Nah. Dan, you said to make detective, I have to show initiative, right? Right. Yeah, but not in his you case, is basically what he said. You here, Officer Decker. <laughs> Amazing. There's no one working in town. I haven't heard music like that since, well, since the Silver City. No music in hell. I live a torture and usually out of tune. No oh God. Lately, we've been playing music by this chap named Thieves. I knew that we were going to have... <laughs> One of these days, I know Lucifer was going to be here just to be morose. Do some reconnaissance. Do you take requests? What do you want to hear? Uh, myself. You didn't come here to find this thief, did you? You're just trying to stall your return to hell. 
I really hope to get a few more drinks in before you work that one out. Lucy, this isn't some game. I'm distracting you from the painful reality that you're never going to find it. <laughs> oh, dear. Have identified the murder victim as MMA fighter Aiden Scott. Scott's body was found this morning. I know this man. The runner, right before the theft. What, you think he had something to do with it? Exactly, brother. How are we going to find him if his own kind can't even locate him? Which is why I recommend drinking. Actually, do you know, I think I might be able to help you, brother, but I'm going to need more than a few extra hours here on Earth. Name your price. Ooh. Well, I can't actually think of anything right now. So, how about a blank check? Deal. Deal? Uh, to pick. Ah. Hello? The Porsche, of course. Sort of key to start it. You know me, brother? I can turn anything on. I, oh! <laughs> Obviously. Uh, it's for reverse. Duh! I'm in a new Hello. What's going on here? Uh, well, brother, when a man and a woman really care about each other, yeah. they do a special cuddle for the cameras, which they sell for money. Lucy, I know what porn is. Why are we here? Well, two reasons, actually. Uh, boobs. Why am I not surprised? Well, there was a picture of our dead man standing next to a very distinctive decolletage. To find a human by her boobs. Not any it's boobs, Lucifer. brother. These ones are very special. If we want to find Aiden's killer, what better way to get information than from his lover? Because trust me, the church confessional has nothing compared to pillow talk. Oh my gosh, that's Venus de Milo. Ah! <laughs> what is this? Nirvana. Do all porn stars reside in LA? <laughs> There must be hundreds of porn stars in hell. Uh, sadly, no. On account of all the good work they do here on Earth, I assume. All right, maybe <laughs> she'll sign my chest. Sorry, it's a closed set. I'm here to talk to Misty Canyons about pillow talk. Why didn't you say so? Oh. <laughs> Miss Canyons, huge fan of yours. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. L.A. Horry, what a classic. Oh. <laughs> but, I mean, one might say that you're born for it. Oh. Well, my dream is to sing, but until then, porn pays way better than waitressing. Uh -huh. Plus, I kind of like it. Turns out, I love sex. Oh, so you're oh, a rebel. Okay. <laughs> I guess so. If you really want to rebel, move to LA, right? All I know. Oh, that's what he got the inspiration. Freer. Where's the rest of it? Ooh, almost forgot. What y'all dress a minute these ass? Oh shit. Needed window washer. Well good thing, because I was feeling dirty. I am here to discuss a lost necklace. So you're a window washer chewer? No. Oh, this took a turn, didn't it? Well, <laughs> I haven't seen your necklace. What's it made of pearls by chance? It's actually a rock. Time to see the family jewels. What? No, 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 you, you, you're not going to find my necklace down there. The man who killed Aiden Scott has it. What? Aiden was such a good guy. He accepted everyone, you know. Aiden actually thought he could win the fight he had coming up, though, which is why he was so pissed when someone asked him to throw it. Someone asked him to throw that fight, but he refused? For a ton of money, yeah. You have any idea who approached him? No. I mean, the fight was supposed to be tomorrow at Rico's and Hope like family here so uh you were close with him too <laughs> scrawny little thing when i started training him uh do you know if aiden ran the same route every day i think so why did you notice any unusual behavior with aiden lately uh arguments grudges there was one guy he butted heads with a promoter tio sorrento you know where i can find him ah! i could get used to this place <laughs> Plan. So you're telling me when they first met, he felt something. But when they met in the pilot, where we know when they met, he didn't feel nothing at the same time. Okay. Yes, humans are funny with their infinite capacity for distractions. Distraction, brother. Apparently, you 
arranged the fight that a recently deceased Aidan Scott was going to wave. Oh, yes, now Amenadiel is quite the warrior. Undefeated in battle, one of God's finest. Actually, that's true. How come I've never seen you two before? What's your name? Lucifer Morningstar. I don't book strangers. <laughs> I'm afraid I must insist. Knocked out the former heavyweight champ with one punch. Like I said, God's finest. <laughs> this is plan helping get my necklace back. Well, our killer slash necklace thief undoubtedly murdered Aiden Scott for refusing to throw his fight. So, in order to flush out our killer slash necklace thief, we need to get them to approach you the same way that he or she approached our dead fighter. It's quite simple, really. Or stupid. <sighs> But why do I need to train, Lucy? I am the Silver City's greatest fighter. Again, disputable. You raised a few too many eyebrows with your one-punch knockouts, so no more displays of celestial strength. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem. Are we Rocky? No, no cheating. Are we Rocky? Very good. Yes. Yes. Very good. Fighter looks good. Wow. Well, I certainly hope so. It, I, I hope that is not the, 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 the chicken that you were trading with. All I really care about. So he'd take a fall? The right price. Rumor has it that Aiden Scott was offered a hell of a deal, so we want the same. Well, that someone is me. D Who's that? One of Tio's Ranger thugs. I found out that Tio fixes fights for the Sarkeesians. As in the Sarkeesian crime family? Yeah, so what if Tio tried to fix Aiden's fight and he refused and he killed him for it? Well, I say that's a pretty interesting theory. What is your proof? I sense there's an and coming. And I'd like to talk to Tio's lawyer, see if I can maneuver a deal. Not a good idea. Why? Because you don't have any actual proof yet, Chloe. Dan's not wrong. Yeah, Lucifer. So, uh, has he got your necklace? He claims to not know its whereabouts. You're up. <laughs> Literally. But just because I'm the king of hell doesn't mean I actually do the torturing. So... I popped back down while you're in there and brought up the best. Maze. Remember Mazakin? Ooh, this wig. Hello, human. <clears throat> I already told that other guy I don't know nothing about Aiden Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that other guy wouldn't know a flange mace from this stabbing object. I don't think that's a stab at all, but go ahead. I'm here for the truth. There are so many ways I just can't decide. All right, Miss Kanda. Oh, I thought hell was hot. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that human didn't kill anybody. And he doesn't know where your stupid necklace is either. The poor man, also Sabi. A bit of a crier, it seems. I hope you didn't go too hard, Maze. He's not in hell yet. Oh, no. Those are tears of joy. Oh, so he's a masochist. <laughs> they can be quite tricky. In hell, I have to use their own guilt against them as torture. The method is chosen for them. But here, Lucifer, infinite possibilities. I got so excited. I just had sex with him. Oh. <laughs> he wouldn't shut up. He must. <laughs> Now, he practically admitted doing the same with Aiden Scott, so he must be lying to you. Nobody lies to me. The human said he wanted to fix the dead one's fight, but someone beat him to it. There's somebody said else. someone placed a huge anonymous bet. Which basically means your so-called torture has been useless. You want to go, bird boy? Oh, now this is getting interesting. Lucy, Where he get popped down from? So if we convince this killer thief to bet on my fight instead, and I take the fall I promised to take, then we wait wherever the money is supposed to be dropped off, and then we see who shows up. You are cleverer than you look. Where should I begin? Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. No, no, no. I'm good. Charlie Richards. 
Hi, I'm here regarding your client, Atiyah. Oh, sorry, sorry, Ms. Richards, you just oh, came. It's fine, Etienne. I just have time for long <sighs> I'm Officer Decker, and I'm here to help Teal. And what makes you think that I need your help? Well, because we know he works for the Sarkeesian family, mm -hmm. and he's also implicated in the murder of Aiden Scott. Have you ever heard of something called leverage, Officer Decker? If not, let me help you. It's like pressure or influence, and it's something that you currently can't apply, because none of what you said actually resembles proof of a crime. Because when you're out there writing traffic tickets, I'm representing families like the Lings and the Sokolovs, actual killers, alleged, anyway. <laughs> you represent the Sokolov family? And you also represent T.O. and the Sarkeesians? So I, I thought the Sarkeesians and the Sokolovs were at war over their bookmaking operations. I wonder how they'd feel if they knew that their lawyer was double dipping. You know, I, I'm new at this, so I don't know what the term is for what you're doing, but I think it's called leverage. All right. All right. I was just going to cuss Chloe off just now. Bye. Didn't expect you to be so happy to lose your first fight ever, brother, and to a human, no less. Nice try, Lucy, but we both know this doesn't count. And the fact that no mere mortal could ever stand a chance against the full power of my God given okay. to Oh, God. What? Thanks for your help. I mean, I will admit that I was a bit skeptical of your plan, but this might actually work. Yes, of course it'll work, brother. That's why you asked me, remember? Someone crafty. And evil. <laughs> evil? Well, if you want to find a deplorable criminal, you just ask it. Well, you know what I mean, Lucy. Come on. You are the devil, after all. His own brother said it to him, too. Okay, so we kind of see why he ran away. Not, not even ran away, rebelled. As is the term better used. Don't tell me Lucifer go take the um the fight. He wanted the devil. Well, you got him. Okay. Why are you doing this, Lucifer? <laughs> Who better than the devil to help you do something so wickedly dishonest as to throw a fight? This doesn't count. So be it, brother. Damn! I'll make sure I tell everyone in heaven and hell that the undefeated warrior lost to his loser, evil little brother. Oh, God. <laughs> These two stay pointing hands on each other. Daddy's boy. Damn! Damn! You're just as bad as me, brother. Pride is your center. Damn. Damn. I I don't like this cutscene that they're doing. What am I doing? I won't stoop down to your level. <laughs> Two hours, Chloe. He swore to Charlotte Richards that he had nothing to do with the murder and that he'd help us find the killer. So he's just gonna drop a bunch of cash off into a locker. Yeah, that's what's gonna clear his name. Now going to see Charlotte Richards, that was a big gamble. And I want you to make detective more than anyone. Do I'm you? That this is gonna set you back. My gut tells me I'm right. Most impressive, brother, swallowing your pride like that. Hope you haven't spent too long on Earth. It seems to have softened you. Lucy, I just hope whoever stole my necklace won't take too long to pick up their winnings. No, oh, it's the necklace thief alert. It's the coach. Is that Gil, the owner of the gym? <sighs> Where am I? Who are you? What necklace? The one you stole from me. Wait. That was you in the street? Yet he's standing here alive. It's shocking, isn't it? Look, I, I don't want any trouble. No, see, I want mine. It's just a necklace. What's the big deal about it? Because my father gave it to me! Look, I, taking the necklace wasn't part of my plan. Aiden was like a son to me. I got into some money trouble. I thought of a fix. Aiden throws his fight. We bet on it. 
take home a huge payday. He said he rather walk away from it than throw it. That's why I saw you. I, I didn't know what you'd seen. I'm sorry. Where is my necklace? It's in the gym. So you killed your so-called son. There we go. Using to play a part in your plan. Now that is just pure evil. And I should know. Because I am the king of evil. No! I did it. I... Uh, where the hell did he come from? Looks like your gamble paid off. Let's be back here. It's time for us to leave. I'm saying that I've realized something here in this city of angels. That I really am no longer one anymore. If that's true, then why am I still trying to please Father? Still playing a part in his play? It's time I fully accept how everyone else sees me. The rebel. And as a wise woman once said to me, if you really want to rebel, come to us. I know. Stop. Lucifer has oh, so as I Lux am, used to be the the fighting club. Well. You are coming back to hell with me. There's no discussion. <sighs> he cut yes. off his wing. You see, this is where it gets interesting. We made a deal, didn't we? For a favor to be named late. Ah. Leave me be. You know I can't do that. Well, isn't it a sin for an angel to break a vow? Father will be furious. Then he knows where to find me. This place could use a piano. I just put my hand in this. Well, you guys know what I told you I'll be doing with this season that if I have nothing really good to say about an episode I'm really just gonna just move on and not complain because that is the but the thing with this episode it was cool to get the backstory of how Lucifer came to Los Angeles why he came to Los Angeles but the real issue I had with this episode, I'm going to tell you the real issues. Not me complaining, but I'm going to tell you why. This episode should have been really good, but I'm going to tell you why it wasn't. The placement of this episode makes no sense. It, it makes no sense to us to know this now. We should have known this in season two when the mom kept asking him, why Los Angeles? Why you came here? Why are you around the, the, the human? That ep this episode should have been in season two. Two, I hated the acting in this episode. It's something about how everyone was acting made it feel weird. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it felt like the cat, like even the guys, the actors that were playing this, like, wasn't putting their heart in. Mazakine felt weird. It was act the, the actress who played Mazakin felt weird. Lucifer, Tom Ellis felt out of place as Lucifer, which was very weird. The only person that made sense was Amina Deal because he went back to the old season one Amina Deal. But then you saw season two Amina Deal in it as well. And then it made no sense seeing Chloe and, 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 and Dan at all. I'm going to tell you why. Because the... The way you made it seem as though they're supposed to have this mental connection when they came into each other's presence here, they didn't have this in pilot. In the first episode, they didn't, they didn't have that moment. He said, you seem familiar. And that was in the pilot. And then he was like, oh, you're from the girl from high school, um, hot top, hot top high school, whatever. That's what his reaction was. With this episode, he had like um like a buzzing in his head that she was nearby that never happened before that never was actually explained in season one or season two we in season three and only now you're bringing in this topic like so i want to know the person who directed this episode have they seen the episodes of lucifer before like or they just came in and just did their own writing that's why i want to know because 
again it just it fell out of place it just fell out of place but we're not gonna keep too long of me hashing out but those are my reasons why i didn't enjoy this episode it just felt weird but with that being said if you enjoyed my reaction please remember to like the video hit that subscribe button leave your comments in the comment section Guys, remember a like, a sub, a comment, a share of this video it goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.